In this lesson of Checklister, we will talk about reminders. So if you choose a task as a user, you can click Remind Me, and this is how it will work. You can choose the reminder time, the email reminder for tomorrow, for next Monday at the same hour where it is currently. It's currently 8 a.m. for me, so I'm just suggesting the same hour. Or you can choose any date in the future, like for example this, and 9 a.m. and save. And this saves the data in the database. And then separately, we will send the reminders with hourly artisan command. So let's dive into the code, how it actually works. And as a new tradition, I will show you the already written code with GitHub desktop instead of live coding it manually step by step. I received a comment on my Teachable from one of you guys who said that it's not that useful to have the written code, but I'm going for quicker result here. And judging by the numbers, a lot of you don't watch full videos just because they are too long with 20 or 30 minutes. So I'm trying to shorten it down and also want to finish this project a bit quicker to move on to other courses on the platform. But I'm still explaining step by step what I've done here. So with reminders, first thing we need to save the reminder. Save the reminder time is really similar to saving the due date. So we have timestamp nullable in the database. Then we'll make it fillable in the model. Then we'll make it date to make it formatable with carbon. Then we also need a relationship to the user and I will explain a bit later why for sending the notification basically. And then how do we save that? We have the same live wire component of checklist show and instead of just meaningless link, we have almost the same block as we have for due date. So if you compare that with a previous lesson on sending the due date, it's really similar with just one more condition. So for due date, there's only date. And for reminder, if I remove and I try to add it again, there's also time and there's also hours which are set. So a bit more logic, but in general, really similar approach. So in the live wire component, we have three more variables, three properties, reminder opened or not, which means that this section is opened or not. So true or false like this. Then we have reminder date, which is this one, tomorrow, next Monday, or this date. And we have reminder hour, which is by default set to now. And you can see that in the mount method. So we set reminder date to tomorrow by default and reminder hour to this hour by default. And then toggle reminder is the method that is called by clicking remind me here. So toggle reminder, true or false. And then if we go back to the components, set reminder is just setting the reminder date and time with some carbon operations of setting the hour, setting the minutes just from the variables. So I don't think it needs too much explanation. It's just setting the reminder add to either from the dropdown, either from the hard coded suggestions or setting that to null. So if that parameter is null reminder date, it means that we are removing the reminder. And then we either update the existing task by user or creating a new one, really similar that we've done with due date and completed add and other settings on the sidebar of the task. And so we have our reminder at in the database. Now we need to send those reminders. So first let's build that email and we are doing that by launching the command. I've opened in the terminal. So that was the migrations. And then we have make notification. So PHP artisan make notification. We will use Laravel notification class, which is this one. Task reminder notification, what we need to pass here. By default, the constructor is empty, but we will pass which task to send the reminder about. And we are assigning the task to the private variable of the notification. And then we can use that task in the function to mail, which actually sends the email. And in the email, all we show is the reminder of the task. And this is where we use that this task, the private property. And that's it, nothing really fancy. Now we need to send that email. To send that email, we will create a separate artisan command. So make command send task reminders command, and it will send not just one reminder, but all reminders which are within that hour. If we open that command, we choose the signature. So how to call that command from the terminal, task reminder send, then choose description if someone wants to view that command. And then handle method, basically what it does is get all the tasks with user. And that's why we need that relationship. We check all the tasks where reminder at is not yet sent, basically in the past. And we get all of them and do for each. And then we use that notification class 
to user notify. So notify the specific user and the task is the parameter, which is then accepted in the constructor of that notification and it is inside of that email. And also we update reminder at to null, which means it has been sent. So let's try to set some reminder in the past as an example. So remind me, for example, in the day that has already passed at 6 a.m. or something, we save. And then let's launch that artisan command, PHP artisan task reminder send, and it should send an email. A few seconds, yep. For testing the email, I'm using a service called MailTrap, which I've configured in my .env file. And I have the email here, task reminder notification, reminder of the second task. The client didn't provide any design for any reminder, so I think for now it's good enough. If client wants to change that in the future, then we will talk about that separately. But structurally, that artisan command is sending all the notifications within that hour. And final thing that we need to do, but that depends on your server, is scheduling that command every hour. In terms of Laravel, it is done in app console kernel file. In the method schedule, you can list all the commands that you need to schedule by some time. So we have only one command, the same command as signature, so task reminder send, and we specify it to be run hourly. To make that scheduler work on the server, you need to do some preparations. So task scheduling is the official documentation of Laravel. So you need to push cron job command. Let me find it for you. This one, running the scheduler. So you need to provide this cron command to run PHP artisan schedule run every minute, once per minute. And then once per minute, Laravel checks for this file for schedule function if there is something to be executed. So in our case, it sees hourly and every hour it will execute that artisan command. And that's it for this video. We are now sending the reminders and we are in the final stage of checklist or project and we will tackle the payments next. And for payments, we will try to use the new updated version of Laravel Spark.